thank you for having us. We always look forward to these events. Really, I know you're here to hear the students, so we'll get through the adult portion as quickly as we can, but just to frame the work, we wanna talk about our focus for this year and uh, the ways we're going to about doing that as Deer Path Middle School. So I'm Sam Paulson, I'm the 7-8 principal. And our big focus this year is really focusing on our school uh, mascot about being brave. And you've probably seen driving outside of Deer Path Middle School, it's a great day to be brave is a slogan that we are really trying to promote. And how are we going to do that? Well, our new schedule has this wonderful opportunity of advisory. And advisory is a time every Monday for the first 20 minutes. It's these small classroom communities of the students about 10 or less in each advisory. And that's really where we wanna cultivate a lot of the belonging at school. And it's a time to really address some of those other skills that aren't strictly academics that are reflected in the portrait, which Mrs. Eigenrau is gonna cover next. So one thing that we really wanted to focus on was connecting the idea of being brave to the competencies within the portrait. So what we did with our building leadership team, which is a group comprised of a variety of teachers across the building, is we did a crosswalk of the definition of brave, the portrait competencies, and then an article about how one could demonstrate bravery. And within all th what that, what we realized is that um, bravery is really infused in pretty much everything we do, from our academics, to our athletics, to our clubs and our sports, to the ways that we want to interact as individuals and to feel proud of who we are and how we contribute to the Deer Path community. So you can see, um, how like what those competencies are and then what we did um, is we infused that within our BLT meetings um, in our advisory committee which you'll hear about and then all of the different extracurricular activities for our students. Back, back, back. Great. Yes, hello. Um, what, so just to break down a little bit about what we're doing around this is in our advisory programming, which is brand new this year, every Monday, it's a really cool opportunity for us to help make sure that students are supported, are prepared, and are set up for success in what they do. It was an awesome opportunity for us to embed our portrait of a learner competencies along with social emotional and executive functioning skills that are so crucial for our adolescents to be building at this point in time. And we're centering that all within the theme of, you know, it's brave to be whatever it ends up being. This week it was as brave to be organized. We talked about planners and the Schoology calendar. We talked about writing emails or Schoology messages to your teacher and how to start with a greeting and be clear and concise in your email communication and have a signature. Uh, and really centering around that idea of how are we being brave in what we do. It's, as Mrs. Agarro said, so centered in all we do as elected officials serving in a school board, you know a little bit about what it's brave, <laughs> what it means to be brave. And our students are able to start every week with that focus, and then they're able to live that and embody that in everything that they do. So you'll hear from our students in a little bit on how they're doing that, but to break down the structure of what advisory is looking like and how we're doing that a little bit more, I'll hand it over to Mr. Fisher. Thank you, Mr. Begley. So um, we know it's only September, but our advisory structure is really set up that um, the kids are knowledge building, they're applying it, and then they're reflecting. It's really nice to reflect in a group that's not a class of like 24, it's a class of nine. And so that will be a hopefully a consistent piece every Monday where you can have a group that you've developed, developed trust with, you learn to um, rely on each other. That doesn't happen right away. It doesn't happen the first month of school. So we're getting there. Um, I like to say that the reflection part is such a key part of all our learning cycle is, is that when we make mistakes, when we try new things, can we reflect and see where we need to grow in? Um, being a non-graded class, that makes a advisory a, pl a great place for reflection without the, the impact of grades and some of that um, stress that comes with that. So we'll start with Bradley. First of all, it's very brave for you to stand here, so well done. Can we just give a little bit of a... <laughs> so they're gonna just share a little bit of their own reflection on what it means to be brave um, as a Deer Path Brave. All right, Bradley, you're up. Bravery. Er, sorry. Hi, I'm Bradley Chons, and I am a sixth grader at Deer Path Middle School. Bravery. There are many different forms of bravery. Whether it could be in the real world, it could be going on a scary roller coaster or trying a new food for the first time. Bravery in the real world is getting out of your comfort zone. But in school, 
there are so many similarities yet differences with the real world. It could be sitting at a new lunch table, meeting new friends, or even joining a club. So whether you're trying out for a new sport or trying out for a solo, there are many ways to be brave and get involved at DPM. Thank you. Hi, my name is Abby White, and I'm a brave student at Deer Path. What being brave means to me is stepping up for a friend or inviting someone new to sit with you at lunch, and maybe even talking to someone new at recess. At Deer Path, I can be brave in the lunchroom, classroom, VersaCore, and many more places. I know if I am brave, then my friends will be brave too. Finally, you can be brave by doing well on your school work or not being nervous for a presentation and giving your all into your presentation. Remember to be brave. Hi, I'm Riley Locker. I'm a sixth grade student at DPF. Being brave means to me standing up for people and trying new things even when you're scared. I tried field hockey and that was new to me. I was brave because I've never played field hockey before. And that took a lot of courage. You can be brave too. Hello, I'm Lawson Herbert. I'm in eighth grade. Bravery is a strength to face danger, fear, or difficulty. It doesn't mean not being scared. It means that even though there's anxiety and uncertainty, you try to have courage to do the right thing anyway. At Deer Path, we stick up for each other. At the start of the year, Deer Path's opening message was about being brave. I embrace this message by being a leader at school and on the Deer Path soccer team. If a teammate makes a mistake, I bring them up instead of putting them down. To be a leader, you need to be brave, stick up for others, and encourage them. I try to do this in every interaction I have at school. When you build people up, um, it makes others feel better, but it also makes you feel better. When I am brave, it encourages others to be brave and be there for each other, too. I will continue this throughout the year and keep being brave and a leader. Thank you. Good evening. Um, my name is Sebastian Carrillo, and uh, this is my speech. After we started the school year with an assembly about being brave, I thought this year we're really focusing on stepping up and being brave as students. Being brave at Deer Path means doing what is expected and living your school life with integrity. I do this by advocating for myself and showing my peers how to be a brave student. There's a lot thrown at you and a lot of ex expectations on you on the seventh and eighth grade side at DPM. If you're not advocating for yourself, you're not adapting, which is one of our portrait of a learner competencies. There's a leap from grade to grade. I've been in the District 67 for my whole school career, and every step of the way, you need to be more involved with your own schoolwork. If you advocate for yourself, it helps you get through things a lot better. At times, advocating for yourself can be hard, but in this school, there's a lot of support for you. This is where being brave comes in. We all have our own difficulties, but if we are brave and advocate for ourselves, we can be more successful. I like to be a good example in my classes, and I like to do what is right because that is who we want to be at Deer Path. A lot has changed, even in the past 10 years, especially in the town that we are in now, there can be a spotlight on you and how you choose to act. By being brave and stepping up in my classes and out of school, my peers will notice how I'm being brave and hopefully also take up their responsibilities to be brave. Being brave means a lot to me. It also means a lot to Deer Path, as our advisories are going to be about being brave all year long. Thank you for coming tonight and allowing me to speak. Wow, so proud of those five students and also a really hard act to follow here. So um, I'm Lindsay McMahon. I'm a new sixth grade LA teacher at Deer Path. Um, I'm gonna talk just a little bit about how advisory has gone so far this year. We've had four um, and it's really been a great start. So um, I see it as a great time to really build strong connections with students and, and between students and staff. Um, it's been such a safe space. I have seven students in my advisory. It's very small and it has just a completely different feel than my other classes. We have so much time to really kind of delve deeper into some of the things that they're struggling with and then also get them what they need in that time period. Um, I feel like students can kind of just take a deep breath at that time 
and relax and kind of get what they need. Um, so far, we've engaged in school-wide community building activities um, that really help students build this strong foundation for success. Like um, some of the people that have spoke before, we've done some get to know you activities between our own advisory, get to know staff so they know the faces that they're seeing every day, even if they're not their teacher. Um, the importance of using that assignment notebook in those organizational frameworks. Also a new PBS, PBIS ticket system at DPM, um, and just to kind of encourage really strong, positive, brave behavior in school. Um, I do see a, great, a lot of great opportunities in the future, um, lots of areas to engage with future lessons, like target the components of the portrait of a learner, SEL standards, um, and just other areas of the helpfulness and responsibility that are great for middle school learners to engage with. Um, overall, having the goal of providing students with a shared experience really helps to create this positive school climate that I know we're going for at Deer Path. Um, I'm already seeing the ease that just really comes with students feeling welcomed and feeling heard in this small space. And I just look forward to deepening those connections with my students over the next, um, or you know, the remaining Mondays in the school year, especially at the uh, DPM Adventure Day field trip that's coming up in October that we're super excited about. So thank you for having me. Thank you, Mrs. McMahon, and thank you to all of our wonderful students who presented. Uh, as you can hear, the, the theme of bravery has really resonated with them, and it's such a wonderful opportunity for us to bring uh, the portrait comp competencies to life. So uh, we have so much to be proud of. Thank you again for having us, and remember, it's a great day to be brave. Take care. <laughs>